Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Keely Allen and welcome to Yes, It's Another Plant Haul. So I got most of these plants in before Christmas. I did mention way back then that I got quite a few things in before Christmas in order to get a head start on spring. So these plants have been with me for some time. I just, I'm gonna be honest, I, I didn't have time to get the pots. It was Christmas, stuff happened. Now it's been New Year. Now we're here again. I've been busy. Now I have the pots. They're behind me. You may have seen them in other videos, you may not, depending on which order these videos come out. I've recorded another one on the same day as this one. But this plant haul is gonna be done a little bit differently. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna pick plants up and I'm gonna bring them back and I'm gonna talk about them. So there's gonna be a lot of me moving around because I planted these up to make a really pretty backdrop for my videos. I'm kind of happy with it. You may notice some randomness here. That's just some pretty skincare that I have out. So I'm gonna pick them up and show you. Um, there's a lot of Syngonium in this video, actually. And I'll get into why I've got certain ones because I'm gonna pick up some Syngonium in this video and you're gonna be like, I thought you hated that. And the answer is, I kind of do, but that's not the point. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Okay, I'm just gonna go and pick one and then I'll bring one back because I don't know what I'm gonna pick up yet. Also, yes, my jeans are a little bit uh, baggy on me, you could say, and my belt that I bought online hasn't arrived yet. So that's why we're looking a little bit mumsy, but it'll be fine. So first plant, let's do... I'll do this one, but I'm literally not even going to linger on it. I'm even going to bend over the chair. I got this in as part of quite a few Albo Syngoniums. I've had them in before in the shop. It's really nothing new, but I got some more in because I found a better source. I found some really good quality variegates. These are ready to go in literally a couple of weeks, but depending on when you see this video, these might be ready to go on the site now. Don't know. Um, so I'm not going to linger on it. I've had it before. It's nothing new to my channel. I'll show you up to the camera if I can like so. Loving that. Beautiful. Great quality. Let's go for this one because it's huge. I will have to sit down with it because I don't think my camera likes focusing when I'm too far away. I noticed that in the viewfinder. I can't see fully. Like, are you gonna actually focus on me? Like, why? There we go. It's back. <sighs> Literally, I'm having work done on the roof. I didn't know till today. Great. So these people are so noisy. I'm so sorry if it irritates you. There's nothing I can do about it. I literally have a group of men on my roof right now. Anyway, this plant, you can probably see it in the frame and I love it so much. But this plant, this plant is a few plants in one, full disclosure. Um, I wanted a bushy one, so I've made a bushy one. But this plant here, I didn't always love this, actually. I, I think I had mixed feelings about it. And then I, I did that thing that you do when you go on Instagram and you start spamming yourself with pictures and you start to like things. And then you see other people owning them and you're like, oh, actually, this plant's kind of war you know, warming on me. So I ended up getting some in. I have some for the shop. This isn't me selling you them. I'm just kind of saying this is why I have so many of them. But yeah, this is Syngonium Pink Splash. I'm going to try and rotate it. I've got this planted up in pond in a L hole self-watering pot. So that's why it's a bit ridiculous. As I say, I just, I really wanted a big bush of these things. I'm going to try and tip it without, you know, doing the bad. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, maybe it's not for everyone. It depends if you like pink, but... I love it. It's still, I mean, some of these leaves aren't super, super green. And I think that's just the shipping stress from before Christmas. There are new leaves coming in though. I mean, that one's a bit crispy, but generally they're doing all right. Nice and plump, beautiful. I love Syngonium. I think they're just fantastic. Honestly, they ship so well. They're so tough. They propagate so well. They just don't let you down. They can tolerate underwatering. They can tolerate overwatering. They're just awesome plants. So you're going to see a few Syngonium here today. But again, my pink splash, love it. I don't know how good it's coming off on camera. Ooh, tilt it without literally pouring stuff all over me. I just love it. Honestly, beautiful plant. Really, really beautiful plant. Also, if anyone wants to know my opinion on these planters, I do recommend. I think they're great. Um, yes, you'll get a video eventually. But yeah, let me know what you think of these. I don't know if they're to everyone's cup of tea because normally when people search for pink, it's the pink princess. And that plant is much darker and much more pink in foliage. Like the pink is like a fuchsia pink, whereas this is like a light wash pink and that ain't for everyone. So let me know what you think of these. I'll show you it one more time. There it is. Gorgeous plant though, right? I'm gonna put it back. Put it back as part of my little set that I've got going on. I do have, again, this is a really quick one. This is not a new plant, but I will show you it anyway. This is my Maranta lemon lime that I also potted up. Um, it's been so long coming, me potting this up. Again, I just I just have not been able to get the pots. 
Um, so very recently, I yesterday, I put this plant up. It's actually in soil. It's not in pond. Um, no particular reason. One, it was already growing in soil anyway, and I didn't want to convert it to, I ran out of pond. If you don't know what pond is, it's a brand called Lechuza. It's their, um, their alternative, their version, should I say, of Lekka kind of thing. Only it's like a finer grain. Um, so that's him. Um, I know in America you can get these just so readily. You really can't in the EU. They're not so bad now. They kind of boomed a little bit during COVID. So I think a few more people have them. Generally, not the easiest plant to get. The common version for us here, if you don't know, is the red Maranta, which I do own. I have one at home. A lot of people ask me about that one, by the way. That's Gus, my beautiful Maranta. He's fine. I just haven't mentioned him because he's just, he's just Gus, really. He doesn't do anything. I've still got him. I haven't got rid of him. He's, he's great. He hasn't grown much because he's in the dark, but he's cool. So yeah, I'm hoping this one gets really big and awesome. I don't know when this has happened, but it's a little bit of a, little bit of a brown bit. There's a little bit on here as well, but generally it's all right. Oh, I've got a snapped leaf there. Oh, that's a shame. It's probably happened when I planted him. He's cute though, and I love him. And honestly, I know I love my aroids, but I started my channel doing um, a lot of Calathea related stuff. And my love is still with Calathea and Maranta. I think they're just amazing plants. So totally recommend. If you want a plant that does something cool, if you have no idea what this plant is, and again, I won't linger on it too much, but if you want a plant that does something, these are great because they, they move their leaves. So during the daytime, they'll be like this. They're not wilting. They just want to be like this. And then at nighttime, the leaves fold up in prayer. Hence, they're called prayer plants. So yeah, I'm not going to linger on him. He's beautiful. I love him. I put him up. He lives up here now. Yeah, I didn't want to move him before I got a self-watering pot for him because honestly, this studio just dries things out like no tomorrow. It's actually ridiculous how much things just get dried out. Right, I will pull out this one. This is my next one. And I'm quite pleased to have this. This is another plant that I used to have, actually. I know you can see it in the frame. It's a plant that I used to have uh, not long after I started my channel. I think, I think I bought this plant from Ben originally, actually, when he was running the Tropical Plant Company. Um, so, I mean, not this plant, but this type of plant. This is Philodendron Burley Marks Variegata. These are really, really in right now, I think. Uh, I understand why they're really good growers, to be honest. They're really quite easy plants. So if you want something easy that's variegated, go for it. Uh, they plump up very quickly as well after shipping. I've noticed that not every Philodendron or not every plant does these kind of do. They look great. This one's a little bit nuts in the pot. I think there might be a couple in there. Possibly. Um, sorry if that's not focusing. It's just, oh, this camera just does my head in. But yeah, really cute plant. I got it because one, it's small and it'll fit on the shelves because I do have a little bit of a height issue. Two, it's just homage to the plant I used to have. I think I have a piece of my old plant in this shop. If anyone remembers my rare plant shop tour that I did, like early last year, I did have two Burley Marks Variegata in the shop that I just had for ages. I think they might have been produced from cuttings of my old one. Um, I still have those two plants as well. They're just in soil right now, so they'll probably just get used as mothers. But yeah, I also have some of these and I'm loving it and it's really nice to have it back. Um, I could have just brought up one of the other ones, but I thought, you know what? I'll just use a new one because they're already converted because they come in bare root. So that's why I've chosen this one and not one of the ones downstairs. But honestly, it's so cool. They're just cute little plants. That's kind of the shape you can expect from the leaf, if it allows me to show you there. That kind of shape. Sorry, I know it's trying to get my face there. And there's a beautiful one. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. So there you have it. Philodendron Burley Marks Variegata. Beautiful plant. I do recommend it as a starter plant. I think they're quite good. Um, just when, just beware, I guess, when you ship things. If you have huge patches of sectoral variegation, that can kind of go brown to mush. Um, it, the, the, it doesn't like cold very much or anything like that. It just generally doesn't like being shipped. So just be aware of that. It's not going to harm your plant. The genetics are in there. That's kind of what you should do when you buy a variegated plant anyway, by the way. And I, maybe I should do a video on tips on this. I think that could be really cool, like video on tips of buying a variegated plant. But you should just really look at the potential genetics of, of the plant rather than, oh, this has got a good leaf. Do you know what I mean? You should really be looking at that. Because um, the leaf isn't always a hallmark of the genetics of the plant. Yeah. So anyway, this is Philodendron Belly Marks Variegata. I love it. It's cute. I think it's going to outgrow this pot really quickly because there's more than one in there. But I think what I will do is I'm just going to keep it quite small. I'll just take cuttings, put it back in. I'll just use this to propagate for the shop. Do you know what I mean? When this gets too big, I'll cut it down. I'll replace it. I'll give mine to the shop. So 
that's just probably the best way I can control these things on the shelf because it's honestly, this gap on the shelf, it's not a lot. It's really not a lot. So I need all the help I can get. Right, is that everything on this side? Yes. So now we just have a couple on this side. Do we only have two left? Oh, we have three left. Um, let's, let's just carry through with the Syngonium theme because I think that's a good idea. I've got something really cool. Now, these are not super rare, but they're harder to get, I would say. And if you can't see by what I'm doing, this is a, what is it? It's Syngonium Podophyllum variegata aurea. So it's, the, it's basically yellow variegated Syngonium. You would know it as. If you want this plant, search for, you know, Syngonium yellow variegate or something like that. Um, really, really pretty. I would pick up an elbow to show you, but I've already shown you. And you know what white looks like. It looks like this. So this is my gorgeous um, yellow one. I'm trying to work out if there's two plants in here. There might just be one plant. I'm not sure. Again, I can just chop this when it gets too big, but I did want a big one because honestly, the quality of this variegation is to die for. I think there's a new leaf. Again, I'm trying to hold it up, but I'm having to hold the whole plant in one hand. I think that's a new one there. Obviously, variegation comes in kind of lime greeny yellow and it'll fade up just make sure you have enough light but honestly look at these let's see if i can just get my arm around it look at them just look oh my god i love them so much i had to have a big bushy one i just had to so that is my syngonium yellow variegated syngonium podophyllum variegata oreo however you want to call it beautiful plant i don't see it as often i know the elbow is it's not common but it's much more commonly purchased, I think. And honestly, I feel like that's just due to the fact, I'm gonna put this down because you can still see it. And I think that's just down to the fact that white variegation is usually a lot more sought after than yellow variegation. Take, take that with any plant, like for example, variegated Monstera, the white, oh my God, ridiculous. Yellow, still ridiculous price, but people don't seem to want it as much. It's normally collectors that really fancy having that plant. So I feel like these are a little bit underrated. Do you know what I'm saying? Because no one really loves them. Maybe I'm wrong in the comments. Let me know. Is this on your wish list? Like, do you love these? Do you prefer the white? I really, really want to know that, to be honest. I'm really curious. Personally, I think these are really striking. And it's really nice to have plants that you don't often see in collections. And um, again, I'm not saying this is super rare. I'm just saying people tend not to go for this one. People tend to go for the white, the elbow. So I just had to have a little bush, a little bushy one in my room. And I have it. And I'm going to put it back because it's hella heavy. So we'll just put it back on here. I feel like this is a very quick fire video today, actually. It's much quicker than usual. Okay. Which is weird because it should be longer because I'm actually having to get up and pull things off the shelves, right? So, so the next plant, you may have seen me just pull off the shelf, probably. Um, I need to say a few words on it because people are going to be like, what the hell is that? Why is it in your studio? I heard what you said about them. And literally what I said about them still stands, right? It still stands, but I wanted to show you that I managed to find them because I'm quite proud that I found them and I'm pleased to be able to offer them soon. So this, I'll get into what I'm talking about, don't worry. This here is a Syngonium, I think it's just called Strawberry Shake, right? If you've seen my overhyped houseplant video, they're in it. I'm not going to waste any time by saying that they're in it because they are in it. And I do think they're overhyped. They have a very high price tag. What, what I need people to understand is, and I know most of you will get this. So I, I realize I'm speaking to a smaller portion of people here, but I, I need you to understand that what I like and what I need to do for my business are two different things, right? Generally, when I sell plants, I do like to only stock the things that I like, but there's always exceptions to that. And there's a couple of plants that I have in at the minute that I don't really like, but they are for my business and I sell them. That is what I do for a living. So I don't want to think, I don't really want to think I'm coming across disingenuous because I, I still don't love the look of this plant. I'm being brutally honest with you. So there's two in here. I kind of did it to kind of fill it up a little bit more. Um, and to be honest, this is a, I would say this is a better specimen as well. I wouldn't say that this was a low variegation level, would you say? Um, I'll show you it anyway before I keep on talking about it. There is one leaf there. It's probably going to blow out on the camera. There's one. See, it looks nice on camera. What the hell? There's one leaf there. There is another one. Oh my goodness. It's quite hard to manipulate behind it. Um, you know, it might be better if I just rotate it slowly. Like so. There. As you can see, there's two in the pot here. And there's the other leaf. It's got a little bit of damage on that leaf, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. 
the, it, I, I'm laughing because I honestly feel like it looks quite nice on camera. Here's me saying I don't like it very much. So I place it here while I continue to talk about it. So anyway, my opinion on this plant has not changed. I don't really like it. Admittedly, this one looks a little bit nicer, but I think that's higher quality variegation. A lot of them I see look more like, if I can hold that leaf up there. Uh, don't focus on my face. They look more like that, the, the ones that I tend to see. So I still don't really like the plant, but I am pleased to be able to offer it in my shop soon if you like it. Let me know if you do like these plants because they aren't for everyone. I'm pretty sure what I said in my video, most people agreed with me on that they didn't love them. Personally, I've chosen these because they are the higher uh, variegates out of the collection that I have in and I want to grow and propagate them in here. They've got to be propagated somewhere. I'll do it in here. They fit into a small pot. Job done. Do you know what I mean? There's really no weirdness to it. I bought it in for the business. I bought it in to sell it. So it's a plant haul, but I wouldn't say this was part of it. This is just, it's on my shelf. So, and it's new. So it fits into the haul in that sense, but this isn't something I bought for me. Full disclosure, it's really not. I think last, the last video I did on the overhyped plants, um, there's a lot of people accused me of deliberately, deliberately bringing down the price of a plant so that I could then buy it and then inflate it again. And I think that's such a silly statement to make, if I'm honest. I know this has nothing to do with the whole, but I'm saying it anyway. It's such a silly thing, because why would I want to really smack down a plant and really talk bad about it and really make it um, almost unsellable to then try and sell it? Like, I don't understand why people say that, but just to get ahead of you in case people do say it about this, that ain't what I'm doing. That's a very stupid way to play the business game, the economics game. That's not what I'm doing. I still don't think they're a great looking plant. They are tough though, I can tell you that. Um, they're not quite as tough as the albos, but they are tough, they're okay. It's a syngonium, so it's gonna be. But yeah, that's why it's here. Sorry to go on about it, but I feel like I need to say my piece because I do still think they're overhyped, okay? They are worth what they are worth, don't get me wrong, but I do think they are overhyped in terms of people saying that they're pretty and everything else, right? Who knows, maybe in six months I might think it's not that bad, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I, I, I don't know. This one looks okay. This one is a higher variegate. Let me know down below. If you think this is ugly, say so. If you think I'm wrong, think no, it's beautiful. Oh my God, love it. Tell me down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. I don't know. But they should be available soon in the shop anyway. I think give it a couple of weeks, depending on when this video goes out, they should be available really soon. That's him. I'm gonna put him back now. We'll put him back where he lives. And I think, do I have one more to show you? But he's he's a bit of a beast actually. That's gonna be a bit a bit difficult. <sighs> and if you can't hear that, that's my wall watering itself. So might have to wait a minute. You know what? I'll talk through it. If you can't hear what I'm talking about, my noise cancelling's done wonders, but let's just keep going because I cannot wait all day for this sort of stuff. Now then, I actually, upon picking this one up, I can't remember the damn name of it. <laughs> I actually can't. I will put the name of it on the, on, you know, on the screen because I always do. Let me get that on my shoulder while I itch my face. Um, yeah, I'll put the name on the screen because I can't remember what this plant's name is, but I'll tell you something, it's amazing, right? This is a type of, hang on. Can I at least move that a little bit? There we go. This is a type of Raphidophora. I believe it's, it might even be slightly aquatic. I can't remember. Um, really, really gorgeous plant. And there's something a little bit cool about this, but I don't know if you're gonna see on the video. A lot of the time, there's there's fenestrations in these two leaves, and a lot of the time I can sit them so that they make a heart shape. I don't know if it's doing it there or not, but it's really adorable and I love it. I don't know what I can really say about this plant because honestly, I know nothing about it. I saw it on a list, you know, from a supplier and I thought I'll try them even though it's Raphidophora. If nobody knows me, I don't particularly love Raphidophora when it comes to shipping. I don't know if it's just me or if other sellers have the same issue. If you are a seller and you sell any kind of Raphidophora that is not, you know, sold in soil or whatever else, a bit more of an exotic Raphidophora, let me know if you also struggle shipping them. But for me, the struggle is real, honestly. To get them to me, they come in really bad shape, or if they do come in good shape, they'll drop their leaves, everything else. Um, but the cool thing about this one, and I'm pleased I took the risk, it hasn't done that. Look at this. I don't know if I could safely call it a tough Raphidophora because I, I, I've been totally real with you. I don't know enough about the plant. I just know that it hasn't tanked and it's, it's okay and it's, it's in beautiful shape. And I do have more of these. This is the one that's in the best condition. 
Um, but they're okay as well. They also seem to be rooting quite quickly, which again is not something I've found in Raffinophora. So I don't know. I wish I could tell you more because it's gorgeous. It could really be growing uh, more vertically. It's just, I don't know if I can show you how it was planted, if I can just kind of tip it there. It kind of had to be, uh, you know, planted that way because it just wouldn't sit right in the pot. Um, it doesn't have a ton of root on this as well. So I'm actually, I, 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 so far, I'm saying it's reasonably tough. I'll let you know if that changes. To be honest, it's going to be behind me in that spot up there on my video, so you'll know if it's turning. So far, it's gorgeous, though. So what I have done is I've actually filled this above the fill line with it being a bit aquatic just to make damn sure that it gets the water it needs. I hope I'm not making that up about it being aquatic. But I've just tried to make sure it gets enough water. But honestly, look at it. See if I can hold it up. Because it's so nice. Look at it. Honestly, look at it. I have to put it on my shoulder to be able to do anything. Look at the little heart shape that I can make. Oh, is it going to let me make it? There. Oh, look at it. Um, I'm going to put it back because it's so heavy with all this water in. But yeah, I can't, I can't tell you much about it. I like it. That's it so far. We'll see how it, we'll see how it grows, shall we? It's going to have to be potted differently. I know this. Anyone telling me in the comments, yo, you can't grow it that way. I know it's, it needs some more root first anyway. It needs to at least start growing a bit more foliage. And then I will probably have to probably put it on a pole, I think. I could just let it do its thing in this direction and see what happens. But for now, it's sat on the shelves because of the way it grows and it will actually it will actually fills a really nice gap. So I'll put it back and I'll show you where it is. I have put it on some cork kind of spacer, cork, I don't know what you call them, little cork things just to lift it up a little bit, just to balance out the shelf a little bit. What am I talking about, you ask? I'm talking about these from Ikea. If nobody uh, knows I buy these from Ikea, I think they're about a pound or a couple of pounds for three of them. They are, what are they called? The things you put hot pans on, basically, to not burn things. I use these a lot for plant pots when I'm using glass because my entire setup in here is glass. My coffee table is glass. My table that's in front of me that you can't see is glass. My shelves are glass. There's a lot of glass. So I actually use these. Thank God my wall has stopped. That was really noisy. So I use these. So really good hack for your plants if you don't want to scratch a surface or you're watering something and sometimes the water can leak out. Really good hack. So I put this plant up here on a few of those just to kind of lift it up because it was a little bit saggy and you couldn't see my beautiful Maranta back here, which I may as well pick up for you because I'm here. Give me one moment because he's doing so well. He's not ready to repot yet. Um, if anyone that doesn't know, this is my other love of my life. This is my Maranta silver band. It's stunning. I love it. They are quite rare over here in the UK, EU. I've got a little bit of, and I don't know how this has happened actually. I've got a rogue bit of lecker there. A little, little crispy bit at the back, just where it's been near the wall. I don't know why that is, but never mind. It's growing really well. It's growing fast. If anyone doesn't know, I bought this as like three leaf cutting or something like that. This is ridiculous. Um, it's just not quite big enough to repot yet. If and when I do repot it, I'm going to put it into the same thing that the lemon is in. And eventually, when it gets big enough, I'm going to propagate. Although I could propagate soon, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it a bit longer. So if anyone's waiting on these, I apologize. It's just going to be a little bit longer. I do have, uh, I think I have another one downstairs, another silver band. But it's it's not as big and it's not when maranta are really juvenile it's really hard to cut them you'll know what i mean if you propagate maranta and you're doing it on like a really juvenile one they're, they're not the easiest things to cut so i'm gonna wait um but eventually i will have them it's just not it's not a quick process really plus i did kind of buy that for me i'll be honest i didn't really buy that for the shop i bought that one for me and that's kind of the thing some plants i buy in and you know i buy them for me some i buy for the shop some are kind of both some of them i want them but I bought them for the shop and then I have one for myself as well. So it kind of depends. So although that was a plant haul, it's really nowhere near the amount of new plants that I've actually got in. I have in at least five more that I can think of that are downstairs that aren't up here that are new. I haven't shown you them because they're still in Lekka. They're, they're going to go everywhere if I bring them up because I haven't potted them. These ones were much easier to show you today. I will show you them at some point. Uh, one of them I used to have so long ago and I didn't realize that they'd gone up in price actually. I had to buy some of these in I think before Christmas and they were, how much were they? About four or five times what they used to be. Wow, okay. 
Um, so I have a few cool little goodies to show you. One of them's, oh, one of them's beautiful. Um, so I will show you them at a later date. Maybe I'll just let them acclimate, let them grow a bit. I'm not in any rush, but I will show you some more. These are just literally the ones I have on my shelves. And I know that I'll have done videos, maybe before now, maybe not, of them on my shelves and people will be like, what is that plant? Blah, 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 blah. Can we see it? Is it new? Is it this? Is it that? So I thought I'd do a video showing you my new plants behind me. So it's a haul, but not a haul because not everything is for me. And that's it, really. Um, thank you very much for watching. This one I'm aware is quite rambly. It's a little bit more ad hoc because I'm getting up and I'm pulling things off the shelves, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway all the same. I hope this video made sense, everything I said, and I guess that's it for this video. If you've got any requests, uh, please leave them down below of things you'd like to see me film. Let me know what you think of the, uh, what did I mention? The beginner's uh, guide to maybe variegation, or I'm thinking about doing like a variegation 101, stuff like that. Let me know what you think about that. Obviously, if I give you that video, it's a little bit longer in the works. I am finalizing the Syngonium Rare Plant Index now. I have a few videos I would love to do for you guys. Again, they take more planning. I'm working as fast as I can, believe me. I know it might seem like I'm not because it's off season. You couldn't be more wrong. Um, I'm, I'm doing my best. I, I hear you. I know the content that you want. I'm working my hardest to get that ready for you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave your opinions down below, as always, and I will see you next week. Bye!